Good morning. I shared this recipe over on my well, on my Facebook page a about a week ago, and it it's called almond coconut slice, and it went absolutely nuts. It had like 25, 30 shares. It had heaps of comments and heaps of likes, and about a reach of seven thousand. And for organic on Facebook, that's pretty good. But do you know what? I wonder how many people actually have made it. And my mission is to show you how to look after yourself, how to have things prepared, already, you know, made in the fridge so to set yourself up for success. And not so that you're not, you don't have things, you know, prepared, and so then you reach for those unhealthy snacks. My name is Whit Nixon from Wicked Wellbeing and I'm all about healthy eating made easy. And so today I am making a what an almond coconut slice with a chocolate topping. Now it can be made uh, nut free too if you omit the almond layer, but I will talk you through that at, at, you know, when, I, when I go through. So to start off with, actually, just so that you know, the recipe is on my website, wickedwellbeing.com forward slash recipes, and it's you know one of the latest ones that's been added up there, so very easy to find. Now, another one of my missions for you is to make things cheaper, because I know that there are a lot of healthy slices out there that tout themselves as being healthy, but they've got like a mountain of nuts in them. They've got like a mountain of maple syrup, a mountain of this, and all these expensive ingredients. And it just blows my mind to look at them and go, who is gonna make those if they're actually, you know, having to watch what they're spending? So I've omitted the nuts, the cashews out of the base. And if you take out the almond layer, then you can, um, it can be nut free, but it also using sunflower seeds and, and pumpkin seeds, it makes it cheaper. So in my bowl here, I have got three quarters of a cup of pumpkin seeds and three quarters of a cup of sunflower seeds. I've got half a cup of desiccated coconut. I've got quarter of a cup of protein powder. If you haven't got the protein powder, you can just leave it out. It does not affect the recipe at all. And, but it just gives it that protein boost. So if you want that pick up in the afternoon when you get that 3.30 items, you just wanna curl up and go to sleep on the couch just when the kids are getting home from school, then that protein powder gives you that boost and that sustained energy. And then I'm trialing a new product at the moment and it's a vanilla powder. Vanilla essence is one thing that is really, really expensive, and I know that it's better than the imitation vanilla, but it's so expensive, it's like $20 for a little bottle. So at the health food store that I go to, she introduced me to vanilla powder, and I only need to use quarter of a teaspoon, so it makes it go so much further. But if you haven't got the powder, then just use one teaspoon of vanilla essence. Hi Jennifer, nice to have you here. So I'm making a almond coconut slice. So in my food processor, food processor, I am pouring all of that. Now I've only got four medjool dates. So the medjool dates are the larger plumper dates and they do have a pip in them, so you do have to take them out. They're a lot less sweet than the standard Iranian dates. They've also got minerals and vitamins in them and they have got a lower glycemic rating, so they're gonna stabilize your blood sugars better. Or for longer. Now I have soaked those in boiling water for five minutes. I'm going to put those in there and then three tablespoons of coconut oil. Now that's another thing that I know that a lot of healthy slices have coconut oil in them which is great. I mean I love coconut oil but it also means they need to be kept in the fridge because once coconut oil gets warm then they soften and they kind of fall apart but with this slice because you've got the chocolate topping it kind of holds the slice together so it's really great to take to work as well. And then one tablespoon of maple syrup. So I've really kept the sugar content down as much as I can. You could even omit the, the maple syrup as well. Okay. Okay, so I quite like a little bit of texture. But I'll just push that down. 
get that a little bit more. And there you go. That is the base made. I'm going to flip this over here. And I've got my prepared, I've got to, just got a loaf tin here, loaf dish. Take that out. Just want to make sure that you can see what I'm doing. So I'll move those to the side. And I'm going to pour this into the dish. And that coconut oil will solidify when it's in the fridge. And this makes about 15 slices. Now it doesn't mean that it, because it's healthier, it doesn't mean you can eat, you know, like several pieces. Just be sensible. It's all about moderation. So just a piece. And also it depends how big you cut the pieces. Give me a shout out if you're watching. Comment, because I can see that there are other um, watchers. So give me a shout out and then I can welcome you. Say hello to you. So I'm just pressing that down. There. So you can see that. And then... I've got about a quarter of a cup of almond butter. Now, the reason why I've added this in because I love the texture of the. So this isn't smooth. This is this has um, got a quite. A, it's got quite a chunky texture. It's the poppy and olive brand. But as I say, any nut butter will work. And also, if you want to just omit this layer, then e you easily can. But I just really love that texture that it, that it gives, the crunch underneath the, the chocolate layer. And I'm only using about a quarter of a cup. Spread that around. Okay. And then, what if I had a little bit more time, but obviously I haven't because I'm doing this live, I would put that in the fridge just for uh, half an hour to make that cold. It doesn't make the peanut butter set. Hi, Margaret. How are you? It doesn't make the, the peanut butter set, but it just makes it cold so that when your chocolate goes on the top, then this it, it's easier to spread over. But I haven't got that time, and I'm just actually going to see... How easy it is to spread it. Now I've got a. I had I do here it is right here. So I've melted eighty grams of seventy two percent dark chocolate, or you could use a sugar free do, uh, chocolate on the top. And to melt that, I just put it in over a pot of simmering water. So using that, and that. That actually just spreads absolutely fine. So you don't even need to, because I hadn't done it without the putting it in the fridge, and that, that spreads so easily. So you can just omit that layer, that, um, that step. So good. Even, it's always a winner for me when my husband really loves my um, healthy cooking, because, you know, he... Um, Sometimes he finds it a little bit too healthy, but he absolutely loves this, and I'm like, yes. So then I'm just going to sprinkle some thread coconut over the top, and that is done. And how long has that taken us? I haven't got a, haven't, about five minutes. So there is no excuse for not having some healthy snacks in the fridge ready to go. Now, I'll refrigerate that for about half an hour, just until that chocolate sets, and then it's ready to go. And you can freeze, if you need control, then freeze some and just, just take it out as you need it. Or, great to have some in the freezer if you have unexpected guests that just pop in and you want to wow them. So, that is almond coconut slice. The recipe is on my website, wickedwellbeing.com 
forward slash recipes. And if you haven't joined my uh, free Facebook group, Healthy Eating Made Easy for Busy Mums, then come on over and join that. Just do a search for that and you just need to request access and you'll be all in. Hope you have a fantastic day. I'm actually now off to make a baked cauliflower for my membership girls. And in my membership, I trial different things and share the successes with them. And I just help keep them, hold them accountable, offer them support. And it's just a, a fantastic group of ladies who are all on the same journey together and um, just supporting each other. So I'm really looking forward to, to trialing that, that whole baked cauliflower. Have a fantastic day and I will look forward to connecting with you soon. See ya.